Beyond Garment is a collection of works by Western Australian artists and designers. It's been presented by the Department of Culture and Arts as part of the Perth Fashion Festival. These designers have been pushing the boundaries of what is garment and what is fashion to produce challenging and wearable pieces of art. Tonight, we'll be launching this exhibition. Alistair's jewellery design provides a harsh, contemporary and masculine edge to this exhibition. The angular shapes he uses complement the futuristic vision of his work to find new possibilities for old materials. Only three years ago, Alistair graduated from Curtin University with a Bachelor of Arts in Jewellery Design. Since then, he has participated in both state and national events and has become part of the Midland Altier Studio Group, an institution that aims to promote urban redevelopment through art. Alistair creates contemporary wearables with a desire to find a new potential for acrylic, a material that has traditionally swamped the industry. For this exhibition, he has designed three-dimensional pieces that possess form as well as cover surface area. His accessories are bold and confident and explore geometric shapes and patterns. Open Up is the title of this ambitious work by Michael Baxter, the largest in this exhibition. The artist has been exhibited widely, showcasing her works in Australia, the UK, Japan and India. As such, Maggie's textiles reflect the fusion of a myriad of influences. In 1990, she made her first trip to India. This culture supplied the colourful maximalism within her fabric as well as providing information about traditional weaving techniques. She uses block printing and embroideries over the top of her cloth. The construction of these pieces references the origami-like construction of Indian clothes. In contrast to these overt images of a loud Eastern culture, her textiles also include the fragile minimalism of some of her own favourite artists. The final results of Maggie's works are largely left to serendipity. Her design process involves dissecting her fabric before rearranging in haphazard lines, interrupting the coherent flow of the printing. The result is an image of free movement, both within the detail and the size of the piece. installation that you see behind me is the result of a fusion between textiles and product design. Jocelyn Tan studied fashion at Curtin University before moving on to footwear and interior design at RMIT in Melbourne. Her fashion pieces are created with the intention that, when worn, they will participate in a kind of exchange market between their owner and the world. Jocelyn wants the consumer to interact with her work and decide upon the final function of what she has made. The flexibility within her work rests upon her understanding of the temporary nature of design and the transitory tendencies of the fashion world. This interaction is what takes her accessories beyond mere adornment to garments tempered by notions of self. The objects of adornment that she has created for Beyond Garment are distinctly contemporary in their sleek lines and bold colours and encourage a powerful new femininity. The international fashion label Antipodium has brought together five indigenous artists from the Yamanji region to create culturally specific works of art for this exhibition. The textiles that you see here are all informed by the indigenous experience of life and country in Western Australia. In contrast to some of the more industrial pieces in this exhibition, the works of these artists reflect the tones and materials of the desert landscape. Barbara Merritt was inspired by astronomy in traditional stories to create Seven Sisters. She hopes that the extravagance and colour of her work will inspire positivity within her community. The imposing mega scarf was woven by 73-year-old Roy Merritt, who rediscovered his skills in weaving after retiring. The work is inspired by the wildflowers of Malawa, the region where he grew up. Ruby McIntosh's work is similarly influenced by the Murchison region. She has combined contemporary and traditional styles in the design of crocheted animals infused with the colours of the north. Nolda Seal's work is unique to this exhibition in that it presents a collaboration between herself and elderly Mary Pendidjou McLean. These two women have been working together for many years and combine their skills in woodwork and weaving to create elaborate neck pieces and adornments for the body. Lin Jong Yung began her education in fine art in Seoul before moving to Perth to complete her master's degree at Curtin University. These changes have perhaps inspired her studies to cross into cultural, human behaviours. The work she has created for Beyond Garment is a manifestation of her desire to combine emotional aesthetics with cognitive image processing. These garments are created from a new kind of merino wool that Yunjong has pioneered in association with the Department of Agriculture. 
The essence of a work lies in its capacity for interaction with its audience. All of the garments you see here were made with the belief that they could provide the wearer with an opportunity for self-expression. Yun Jong hopes that through the interactions with her pieces, the wearer will be able to highlight their emotional states, and from this, go on to challenge their behaviour. The transformative power of her work is highly connected to Yun Jong's understanding of human movement. So we've featured some of the artists from Beyond Garment, so um, there's plenty more to see. But to get this exhibition started, there's always a party.